Connecticut is joining Maryland and Georgia in pausing its state gas tax, <clears throat> giving consumers a break from those sky-high fuel prices. It is the third state in the nation to do so, and dozens of states could follow. For more on this, let's welcome Governor Ned Lamont of Connecticut. Uh, Governor, this is a, a move that you're taking when gas prices are extraordinarily high. W what's this going to mean to the average consumer? It's uh, 25 cents a gallon uh, between now and uh, July 1. I think 25 cents makes a difference in people's, uh, you know, commuting lives. We have a fair number of folks who drive a long way. You know, this is a state where you can get in a car. So we're making a difference. We did this on a bipartisan basis uh, over the last couple of days. It, it, high prices, I know that you guys are pausing this all the way through July 1st. Um, we've been talking to a lot of analysts who anticipate that high prices are likely to last at least for the rest of this year and, and, and very likely beyond that. Will you extend the gas tax holiday if that's the case? Well, I don't think so, because the gas tax is how we pay for transportation in our state, roads and bridges and rail. But uh, on July 1, uh, Maggie, we have a, a lot of other tax cuts coming in, $300 cut in your car tax, a couple hundred bucks in your property tax. So we'll be able to make life a little easier, more affordable here in Connecticut starting July 1. Governor, I know that this is a bipartisan move. It was the same story in, in the other states that have gone ahead and acted on this. We, we spoke with the governor of Maryland earlier this week. Um, one concern, though, is when you look at it, 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 it is um, helping out somewhat for consumers. But for the average consumer, at least in the state of Maryland, it was probably going to mean savings of about $15 if you are the average driver over the course of their cuts. It's going to mean a, a decline in about $100 million in the revenue for the state. Um, and some people look at that and say, OK, nice to help out a little, but it is going to create some issues where there are shortages. As you mentioned, these funds are used to help out with roads and bridges. What, what do you say back? Yeah, to we, have a, we have a $250 million uh, surplus right now in our transportation fund. We've got to be careful, but uh, we, can, we can afford to do this. The other things we're doing, Becky, that will make a difference is we're going to provide bus service for free between now and June 30. So help those folks who maybe have to take a bus just to go buy groceries, save them a few bucks each trip as well. Um, what in, in terms of where where this is happening, I mean, I I get it. You're trying to help out, trying to make sure that you can make a little bit of a difference. Um, but why not just try and lower taxes overall? The, uh, Connecticut has the second highest tax burden in the country, uh, at least according to the Tax Foundation. New York's number one. Why not do something more permanent? Yeah, that, that's not quite right. But um, what we have done is reduce property tax. There are property taxes relatively high compared to most other states in the country, not in the region. So we're going to give, like I said, on the car side and on the home side, a, a significant tax cut combined, you know, five, six hundred dollars, uh, depending. Uh, also, you know, we've eliminated uh, the tax on pensions and 401k. So, um, you know, if you're older, you're thinking about going to Florida, go there and visit, then come back and watch your grandchildren get older right here in Connecticut. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.